Oh, hello, beautiful people. What's up? Make some noise. Yeah. If your boss is a little bitch, make some noise. Come on, everybody. Here's why I say that is because uh, I recently fell in love. I feel great. You know, she's a, a very beautiful, and I said something very unorthodox. Never said it before. I said, I'm like, you know what? I don't have much, but everything I do have, because you deserve so much more than I can possibly give you, but everything I have is yours. You know? She must love me because I don't have shit. I really don't, okay? Because I want to leave my job so much. My job isn't bad, but like I said, my manager is a little bitch, okay? And we've all heard this, all right? When the business is being really slow, he'll just be bored, he'll come by to you, and he'll... we've all heard this. You look bored, let's find something for you to do. No, you're the one that's bored. Let's find dick for you to suck, okay? Because I know what that means. I know what that means. You look bored, let's find something for you to do. Translation? You're about to do something that you don't fucking get paid to do. We all know it. So I'm just like, no, 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 you're the one who's bored. Okay, Don't you have a schedule to fuck up? Don't you have, like, some requested days off to completely ignore it? Or some more shitty coworkers for me to deal with? You seem like I have a lot on your plate, boo. Like, <laughs> yeah, come on, manager, boo, because it pisses him off. Shit. And I want to quit so fucking badly. But like I said, I have a girl to think about. And, you know, like, keep paying for these Uber trips. You know, like, we like to go downtown somewhere nice. And you know what? What I'm about to say might be racist, okay? And if it is, boo me off the stage, no hard feelings. However, if there's some truth to this, it's a comedy show, make some noise. I don't like Ubering downtown because I always get a middle-aged foreign driver who fucks everything up. <laughs> thank you, thank you, okay? Because here's what happens, like, I'll get the, you know how it'll say how far your driver is? They'll say he's a minute away, but that was like six minutes ago. And then sure enough, I get that call. It says, where are you, my friend? I don't know where to find you. I'm like, uh, how about where I said I was? How about that? And then he's like, no, 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 no. You are not where you say are. I cannot find you. You are not where you're at. You're not where you're at. Why would I lie to you? I'm like, ha, ha, ha. I get a $5 fare, and I still don't have a ride. Joke's on you, bitch. No, like, there's no reason. For... You're not my girlfriend. I don't have to lie to you about where I'm at. There's no damn sense. For real. And then he does finally pick me up, and then it's a 20-minute ride with, like, the most awkward conversations about how you gave me the wrong address, even though he picked me up where I said I was at. And I do say 20-minute drive because it's actually seven minutes, but he's taking these unnecessary-ass, long-ass routes that he doesn't need to take. Honestly, he's like, head, head south towards Imperial Highway. I'm like, it's two blocks away. Why are we doing this? Honestly, he'll take, like, there's three types of apps they use. Google Maps, Waves, and Fuck You Over app. They seem to use the fuck you over app a lot. And I'm like, you could have just took that right right there. No, 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 don't tell me how to get there. I'm like, what do, what do I know? It's just my house, right? I mean, <laughs> I mean, you go there more than I do, clearly. So, so people said, you know, to save the bullshit, you know, save the money, as corny as it is, they said, do the whole Netflix and chill. I mean, it's smart, as corny as it is, but I have amazing taste, okay? Like, when I'm in a narcos, I don't think about sex. I'm actually offended when she puts her hand on my penis. Like, I just want to work on the show. Like, so, like, I started getting more clever about it. So, like, when we do Netflix and show, I put on, like, a 9-11 documentary and shit. Just, like, just get a blowjob watching an inside job. You know what I mean? It's, totally it's funny because she gets, she's so cute. She's sad and then she cuddles and I'll whisper in her ear. I'm like, oh, my gosh. I'm about to crush you worse than these towers right now. Oh, my goodness, dude. There better not be a bush involved in what we're about to do. Oh, you know? <laughs> um, 6911, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> There's some humanity left in me after saying all that shit. So I'm gonna, I'm, gonna start, I'm gonna start right there. But you know what? I found a girl who's worth going through the bullshit, through the bullshit job, through the bullshit Uber, and through 9-11 documentaries. I hope you find the same. I'm Kevin M. Thank you so much, everybody. Please,